Hello and welcome to another episode of Hometown Hero. And there's two things I want to say at the start of this episode. One is, uh, you'll know by now because you're watching it, but the episode won't be out till Saturday. Um, and that's just because it's my birthday weekend and I'm a bit busy coming up. So I'm just sort of, I'm going to get this out when I can. Uh, the second thing is, apologies if you can hear a bird going off outside. It's so hot, I need to have my window open. There's no other option. But there is a bird out there that I can hear, and I can hear it coming through the microphone, so I'm fairly certain. There he was. I'm fairly certain he will be uh, hearable. Not much I can do about it. We just have to put up with it, because it just is that warm here. And with that, let's get into the actual episode. And as we can see, as you've been staring at right here, uh, while I've been yammering away... We've had a ridiculously good start for the season. I don't even know what is going on. Uh, we've got, we've played five games and we've won three of them, including a win against a team just relegated out of the football league. I mean, I don't even, I don't even know what's going on here. Uh, so after, so we've had that two nil win against Hereford. Uh, we then played Chelmsford away and we won 3-0. Harry Smith scored. Joe Quigley got his first of the season. And Liam Kelly opened his account with a 55-minute penalty. We then drew with Dul Dulwich Hamlet. Dul Dul I, don't, I actually don't know how to pronounce that. Hamlet. 1-1. Liam Kelly scores again there. So that's 2-2 two two for, for Liam Kelly, who has really started to come good. We then lose 2-1 to Dagenham and Redbridge. Same with Ramadan opens his account for the season that's his first of the year and then a 2-1 win against Wrexham Liam Kelly with his third goal in five games Joe Quigley scores his second that's two goals and two assists for Quiggers as well I, I just genuinely don't know what's going on here is the league table uh, as you can see we're somehow sixth I've almost got a nosebleed we're so high up the table a goal difference of five we give Wrexham their first defeat of the season as well it, this is just genuinely unbelievable We've had a little bit more uh, transfer action as well. And the first thing that we did is we actually sent Kieran Harrison, uh, this guy, and we sent James Minishall, this guy, back to their parent clubs because we signed two other midfielders. This Trojans team that I mentioned is so good, it's unbelievable. I mean, they've got players. You know, Liam Kelly came from there. He's, he's far and away one of the best players in the league. Dimitru came from there. He had a, that the first game we watched against Hereford. He had a, an assist in there, eight point three or something. Has been fantastic so far. They've had they've got three or four or five other players that could easily play in this division, and they're about I think they're about three, four, five divisions below. So I genuinely no idea what is going on here, what has caused this, but they have some nutty players in there. And we've signed two more, and they were kind of an accident. I didn't really mean to sign both of them. But sometimes if there's a long break between games, I may holiday a few days between games just to cut down on all the clicking that I have to do. And I did that, forgetting that I'd put offers in for these two. Um, and I came back, and they both signed, and now I'm £200 over my wage budget. So that's a thing that has happened, and we're going to have to keep an eye on. But they're both incredible players. So let's take a look. The first one is Jay Davies, a 28-year-old midfielder who is just, just sort of silly good. He can fit in all the roles. Um, him and Moncur are going to share a spot in the central midfielder role. I believe that's where we're going to play him. Um, but he, he's just... I mean, I'm paying him £650 as well, which is... My issue is I'm paying both of them about that much and I didn't really mean to. Uh, but it is what it is. So we're putting... He's in there. We've got him till he's about 29, 30 years old. So got him for his best couple of years, I think. So he's he's a good start. And I genuinely cannot believe how good these two are. The next one is 18-year-old Nathy Delamini. Delamini. Uh, I'm paying him £550. But I mean, look at him as well. I mean, look at this guy. He's relatively quick. He's naturally fit. He's got good teamwork, good vision, good passing, good technique. Uh, he can, you know, he's got corners on him. So I can have him as my corner taker as well. He's playing. Um, he's rotating with Danny Foster as my uh, deep line playmaker at the minute. Just unreal, man. 
And here's today's team. We're playing against Torquay, who are right near the bottom of the league at the minute. Um, still, theoretically, should be better than me, so they should win. But this is the team that we're going with today. Uh, now, we've got lots of players, so whether we can actually move some of these um, wages out now, I don't know. I, I will be investigating that over the season. Uh, but we've got a lot here that we probably don't need quite as much. Um, Danny Foster and Freddie Moncura are missing out this game. We're gonna, we may play them uh, next game. We've got Lincoln next, uh, so we may, may play them next week. Today we're gonna play Delamini and Davies in the midfield alongside Harry Smith. Uh, our back is the same. It's Dimitru Sullivan who's stepping in there. Um, in place of Okoy, who drops down to the bench, where we have a lot of centre-backs, actually. I probably don't need that many centre-backs on the bench. Let's put... Um, let's put Danny Foster on the bench instead of Obele, I think. Okay, so we've got Sullivan and Menz in mid in the, in the centre-back role, sorry. And then we've got Lindley at right-back. He's one that uh, my scouts keep telling me they don't like... His quality for the level, but I like him, so I'm going to keep him. I think he's good. Uh, my team is looking a bit better here in terms of star level. Uh, Liam Kelly, look at that, four and a half stars. Delamini, three and a half. Dimitri, three and a half. Sullivan, three and a half. A couple of threes, some twos, some two and a halves. You know, it's not so bad. It's it's not ideal, but it's not so bad. And then, of course, our front three: Kelly, Quigley, and Ramadan. And immediately upon getting into the game, I have realized that I should have played my sort of backup players in this one because all of my starting players are really tired. Uh, unfortunately, that is now just an error that I have to live with. And I think my backup players are going to have to play against the better team in the next game. So... Let's just get into the game. I can't look beyond Fleet for this game. They've got enough quality to see off the challenge of Torquay. I'm already being being favoured. Evens today. Unbelievable start to this season. They're playing a 4-4-2. Let's see. They're favourites for a reason and go out and dominate the match. Wow. Show me what you can do. Nope. Calm. There's a lot more to come from you. Yep, they like that. They like that. Let's go. Let's start the match. Let's see if I can get this down a bit. There we go. What have we got going here? Do we get anything going here? Let's start this. Ooh. Not, not really. That's a good accidental pass. Hasn't really turned into anything yet, but Ramadan is getting a lot of the early ball here. Dimitri already up near the edge of the box. Come on, what can, what can we do with this game? Holden, is this going to be a long throw? It is, that is a powerful throw. Look at that. Menz is there, but it's going to drop down to White. Long shot, and it deflects in. Oh, that's a disastrous accidental goal. Don't know who it... Oh, it's disallowed. Does it deflect off Udo, and that makes it offside? Oh. I, well, I, did, I did wonder whether it deflected off of one of his own players. I wasn't sure it had come off mine. That's lucky then, isn't it? Wrexham are winning against Dulwich. Dul Dulwich? I genuinely don't know. Is that Dulwich or Dulwich? You never know with the English language. It's uh, it's never a Dulwich moment. I'll, uh, I'll get my coat. Oh, Kelly with the free kick. Can he do these two? Oh, off the bar. Oh, he can nearly do those two. Oh. oh, Sparks gives up. He's hurt himself. He's gone down. Trying to stretch that. Oh, no, he is. He is very much struggling there. White into the box again. Gets it back. Okubayajo, Oku that's his name. And that is a goal. So Sparks has hurt himself, but they've scored. It's a bit of a bittersweet moment here for Torquay. And me using all of my tired players because I wasn't really thinking I'm going to pay the price, I think. It's a good finish though from Okubay Be ok Okubai Okubai Joe. Okubai Joe. Wow, that's confusing. Dimitru, can you do it again? Oh, that's not a great cross. 
Young cuts that out. Can we win the ball back high up the pitch? Though? That would be ideal. It's Kane. Come on, keep the pressure on. Oh, he goes long. Oh, straight to Udo, though. Good pass. Good pass. It's out to Sparks, who's okay. It turns out Sparks is fine. Must have just been cramp. How is Udo free in the middle? How is there no one back here with him? Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Grant Smith, that's not great. That is not, that is not good goalkeeping at all. And we're 2-0 down to the mighty Torquay. That is not ideal. Oh. Oh, that's not good goalkeeping. Oh, no. That kind of physically hurt to watch. We've managed to have eight shots and 60% possession, but we're losing 2-0. And I'm going to go with the aggressive. Your pride is at stake. Yep, they all like that. Let's keep it simple. Let's just go with that. Let's get an early goal here. This, we get an early goal in this second half. There's a good chance we get back into the game. I can't see. I can see Torquay sort of bottling it. There's a good tackle from Davies. What can we do? We're going to make some early subs as well. We'll give it to sort of 55 minutes. If nothing has come off, we're going to bring on some early subs. Ramadan's not having a great game. There's 55 minutes. The Pope is going to come on straight away for Ramadan. Uh, and I think we'll also bring on... I think we may bring on Danny Foster for Liam Kelly. Liam Kelly's struggling a little bit, a little bit today. So we're going to make that change. An early double switch. Let's see if anything can, uh, can change our fate. Doesn't look like it's going to go anywhere. Still managed 10 shots. They've had four, and all four of them have been on target. Unbelievable. We've had four half chances and haven't even really had a highlight. Apart from that one free kick, I don't think we've had another highlight yet. 65 minutes in, no highlights. Let's make the third substitution. Let's bring on... Let's just give Eze a bit of game time. I think we're going to lose the game now. So let's take off the Lamini. Bring on Eze. Give him some game time. We've brought... We've got an attendance of 658. Torquay have brought 149 with them. That's probably... You know, our crowds are getting a little bit bigger. Refereed by S. Proctor Green today. Come on. Ooh. Oh, this is interesting. Do we get our first highlight? It's into Davies. It's back out to Lindley. Keeps the ball in. Oh, I thought he had a cross in there, but it, it's going to work its way to Davies, who's going all the way out to the left-hand touchline, and then is going to fall over. And then he's going to be very slow to get back up, and Udo is going to break through and then put it wide. We got very lucky there. That was not ideal. That was not ideal at all. Davies was... Uh, Man, I wasn't the best midfield player I've ever seen. I'm just going to put it that way. We could have done a bit better. I think he's probably just a bit tired. Dimitri's actually had a bad game today. He's only a 6.1. That's not ideal. Uh, can we at least get a late consolation goal? Come on. Let's, let's, give, let, let, let's give the Pope a goal or something. Let's, let's, just, let's get something. It's Foster. Can he do... Oh, gets a... Pass it to Davies. Davies back to Foster into H. Smith. Come on, let, come on, just a, a late consolation goal. Come on, we can work this. It's Quigley. There's loads of space there. Oh, there was so much space there. We're going, we're going the wrong way. You're going the, you're going the wrong way. Oh, it stayed out. It went off the back of the goalie and stayed out. I don't, I don't even know how that's happened. That, that looked like a. A ver an improbable save. Oh, I thought Mens might get on that, but the, the retreating McGinty managed to make it, and the Pope keeps it in for them to clear. 15 shots and only four on target. Unbelievable. Of course, we're favourites for the game, so of course we lose. That I, mean, I did say at the start that, I mean, they, they are probably still, despite being 22nd, they are probably still the stronger team. We've had an incredible start, but it's not particularly sustainable. I don't, I don't think, anyway. Lindley with a good tackle. Gets it into the Pope. Tries to go long, but Galli, Galli Froco, Oh, come on, man. What, why can't they just be called normal things? Like, more. That's, that's, a good, that's a good name. 
we're playing in the Vanarama National League. I don't want to be having to pronounce Gali Fuoco and Oku Baiejo. Their names for higher quality players. Everybody down here should be called White or I mean even Dimitri is borderline or Smith. I've got I mean I've got two Smiths. That's how uh that's how common I like to be. Men's, that's not so bad. Lindley, that's that's easy, isn't it? U I mean, I'll even take an Udo. I mean, that's a little exotic for this level, but I'll take it. Um, as far as this game goes, that wasn't good enough, and we're just going to leave it there. So after what feels like an eternity, because we had to get through the uh, stupid end of the transfer window for the real football teams, uh, we're ready for game number two. It's against Lincoln. They're up to seventh in the league. Um, I can't remember where we went. We went to ninth. So we're against Lincoln, as I said, they're in 7th. This is the team we're going today. There's been a couple of changes, because we've got our first international players. Uh, the first of which is Joseph Menz, who is uh, off with Ghana under-20s um, until sort of the 8th, so he should be back soon. And the other one is Nathy Delamini, who is off as an international for Swaziland, which, if you'd asked me before, he went off to be an international for Swaziland. I would have told you wasn't actually a real country. So today I learned the Swaziland is an actual country that really does exist. So I've had to make a few changes. Luckily, I was probably going to make them anyway. Um, I've had a bit of a whoopsie as well in that in trying to get uh, fitness up for my players, a lot of them are still available for the um, under 18s, under 21s, uh, under 23 level football. But a lot of them, that means a lot of them played yesterday. And as you can see, they're all still incredibly tired because of it. So, we've cobbled together the best team we can. And that is Smith in goal. Although he didn't play very well last game, so he's on a short leash. Dimitri is still at left back. Okoy and Obele, the Nigerian wall, are our centre-backs today. They were originally going to be our first... Uh, First class, our first class centre backs, our first team centre backs, until we brought in the two low knees. So I, I'm pretty comfortable with them being there. Lindley is still our right back, he's still relatively okay out there. Smith in midfield is still okay. Uh, Foster has come into that deep line playmaker role, and Moncur is back as the central midfielder. We've also got Kelly still as the attacking playmaker, and then Quigley and Ramadan, both of those two are still fine, so they're okay. The bench this week is Eze. Ball, Davies, Pope and Sullivan. I have literally no expectations for this game. It would just be good to play a team like Lincoln. So, I think Lincoln have enough to secure a win against Fleet. Fleet's task would not be made any easier by the absence of Joseph Menz. I mean, Lincoln, uh, I mean, I know they're only 7th. They've had a bit of a wobbly start, but they are one of the strongest teams in this league. So, uh, yeah, I completely agree that uh, that they may well beat us. So uh, let's go with a passionate. Let's show the world what this team is all about. Yeah, a few of them like that. I may actually leave that. Look at this stadium, man. Look at this. And it's actually got quite a few people in it. We're in the National League. That, that stadium looks massive. I can't remember if Lincoln just got relegated. I can't remember. I mean, they still have sort of benches just out in the middle of nowhere, but... I mean, they don't even have a roof on their bench. That must be horrible. If you're playing football in, like, mid-December when it's snowing or sleeting, as it does in England, and then you're just sat there huddled up in a coat because your club's too fucking cheap to put a roof on your bench. I think even our ground has, like, a bench that is underneath the cover. That'd be horrible. I'd, I'd request a transfer immediately. If they added an extra stand, if that's the actual Lincoln ground in the picture there, have they added another stand? Like a, a second level? I'm sure they've got a double level stand there. Moncur. Slides it through Quigley. Yes! Joe Quigley scores a goal against Lincoln. Was he offside? No, it's not. It's going to count. Joe Quigley with his third goal of the season. Freddie Moncur with the pass. Moncur is back in. That's going to keep Moncur in the team as well because I'm going to reward passes like that. Look at that. Oh, look at that pass. Joe Quigley. And just powers it in. Past who's in goal for them. Past Pim. Good name, Pim. Oh, a highlight straight away from the kickoff, though, is always worrying. 
Oh, I don't like I don't like this. Muldoon. Oh, G Smith though. G Smith is strong and in there. Was that like there's like five fans? We've brought about ten people with us. Uh oh, Lakeland. With the corner. Oh, Wooden gets his head on it. Oh no, that's a penalty, surely. Oh, that's gonna finally make it in. It bounces around. Terrible defending from all of our guys in the middle, and Sean Raggett is able to pounce and power that home. Look at this defending, though. I mean, this could not have been worse. First of all, what is G. Smith doing? Second of all, that's probably a penalty. That could well be a penalty, too. And then we all just stand around. I mean, that was truly, truly poor. Oh, my God. Kelly, free kick on the right-hand side. Floats it in. There's no one really there, though. And are they going to break? They are going to push it long down the wing. Muldoon is here. They're going to break on us and score a second, aren't they? Oh, he takes it round Foster. He just dances round and he spreads it out to Wilson on the other side. Into Lakeland. Oh. All from comes from the other end. That is a good goal, though, again. But we still scored a goal against Lincoln, so we started well. That's a that, We've got that to hang our hat on, at least. Look at this. That's a good pass across. There's three of them, pretty much. We just got caught, man. We're just all ball watching all the way along. Oh, can we at least limit it to two goals? That was a good first half. Okay. Yeah, let's just keep it up. We apparently haven't played that bad. I'm going to trust in my assistant manager. Oh, Lakeland dances around another one. Joe Lindley there looking a bit foolish. Moncur, what a tackle from Moncur. We've still only had that one shot on target. Joe Quigger's goal. 25. I, I underestimated a little bit. 25 away fans. 2,819 in the ground in total. All right. Joe Lindley throws it straight to them. Oh, Okoy gets rid of it. But it's out to Wilson. Another good block out here. That's Dimitri on this side. Gets in the way of it, but they are still coming. We're forcing them backwards, but... Only for a limited amount of time. Again, it's Lakeland. But Lindley this time makes up for his earlier gaffe with a great tackle. Can we, oh, can we play this through? Kelly is in. Can he slide that in? Slide that in. Yes, he can. Moncur. 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 Yes. Kelly with the assist. Freddie Moncur gets his second goal of the season. He creeps into the middle. He pushes forward. Kelly slides it into him. I thought he was maybe going to try and go for... Cut across him for this. Th we've got three guys in the middle here that could have gotten the end of that. Freddie Moncur, though, hits it straight at Pim, so we're lucky that Pim palmed that into the goal. But Freddie Moncur with another goal. I'm definitely going to. Jay Davies, you're going to have to take a place on the bench. Uh oh. Oh. Oh, G Smith, you got there that time. Not like that corner from earlier, hey? Hey? Nudge, nudge. See. He definitely throws that weird, and then just the volley from Dimitru gets it straight onto Quigley's feet. And that is going to nearly make it to Ram Can Ramadan get on that? Oh, you slowed down. Why'd you slow down? You don't slow down. You probably get on that, Ramadan. Come on, man. You've only got one goal this year so far. Oh, the man, this game is end-to-end. -end. But Muldoon... Oh, we've just watched that cross. Both of these, Obele and Dimitru... Both just watch that cross roll across the face of the six-yard box. Look at this. I mean, look at this. Look. He's the scorers back here. Look at them both. Both of them. Just watch this. That is pathetic. That is just pathetic. I'm, I may actually make a substitute after that. I am going to take off. Oh, Dimitri's having another bad game. Oh, after such a good start, I'm going to bring on Dan Ball. For Dimitri, because he's struggling. Come 
Come on. We're going to make another one, actually. We're going to bring on... Ramadan is struggling as well. And... Oh, so is Danny Foster. We're going to bring on Eze for Danny Foster. Alright, we've made all three subs, so let's just not get any injuries or anything now, please. Come on. Come on, one more, one more highlight, please. Come on, please. Come on, let me have another highlight. Oh, oh, Quigley. Oh, no, Wood gets in there with a good tackle. And now they're breaking again. Wooden. Oh, my God, Okoy. No way does that go in! If this doesn't win goal of the month, I will be fucking astounded. You can't even be, you can't you can't even be mad at that. That was actually just just a beautiful goal, really. It's actually bringing a, a tear to my eye a little bit. That was so good. Their 4-3-3 kind of decimates our version of the 4-3-3, doesn't it? Oh, okay. Actually. Still, 4-2. Scored two good goals. Liam Kelly gets another assist. We're not, we, weren't, we were never expected to take any points away from Lincoln. They're one of the strongest teams in the league. So, at the end of the day, I'm not too bothered. You can't legislate for, for that fourth goal. The third goal, completely avoidable. Uh, there's one of the other goals at least completely avoidable. So, there are things that we can fix. But at the end of the day, a 4-2 loss to Lincoln isn't going to make or break our season. So, there we go. Two defeats today. Uh, one of which was disappointing because, uh, you know, they were 22nd. They weren't playing very well. Although they're up to 15th now, in fairness. Um, but, you know, we, we could have got something out of that game. And then a defeat to a Lincoln team that are now second. They've shot all the way up to second with that win. So, again, not too fussed, really. We're 10th in the league. That would be more than enough. I will take anywhere above 20th, to be honest. Anything that makes sure we're safe this year and can go into next year in the same division. So... After seven games, being 3-1-3 and three is just perfectly fine. I hope sometimes we do win some games on, on camera because it's getting to the point now where I seem to do way better off camera and that looks incredibly suspicious. So um, hopefully we can win some games in the future. But as far as today went, not terribly bothered. Uh, Freddie Moncur scored another goal. He's definitely going to become a mainstay in my team because that is he's just ridiculous. His last five games, he's averaging like a 7.86. He's got two goals and two or three assists already as well. So he's definitely going to continue playing. And yeah, I'll see you again in uh, on Tuesday.